Hello and welcome to the multi-factor authentication demo with WSO2 Identity Server. I'm Shireen and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure multiple factors of authentication like fingerprint authentication or an SMS code for user login in your application. Now we're going to do this using a fully open source identity and access management product called WSO2 Identity Server. Now for this demo, I'm using a sample application called Pickup Dispatch. I've already downloaded and deployed the sample application on a Tomcat server. As you can see, I've already started up the Tomcat server on my terminal window and I have accessed the sample application on my web browser window. Now I have also started up a WSO2 IS instance. As you can see, I'm getting the management console URL over here. If you need download links and instructions on deploying the sample app, you can check out the WSO2 documentation. I've included links to it in the description box below. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to focus on configuring multi-factor authentication specifically. So for this demo, I'm going to use SMS OTP for this particular sample application. This will basically send an SMS code to the user's contact number when the user attempts to log in. And the user has to enter that code as the second factor of authentication to further verify their identity. So I'm going to use a third party SMS provider called Nexmo to do this, but you can use your own SMS provider or even a different type of authenticator like fingerprint or Fido as the second factor if you want to. All right, so let's first set up the SMS provider. In this case, we are going to set up Nexmo as our SMS provider. So to do that, I need to download the SMS provider's certificate and import it to the WSO2 key store. So I'm going to go ahead and access the Nexmo website. That now gets redirected to something called Vonage. Um, so I'm going to click this padlock icon over here to download the certificate. Now this might be different on a different web browser, but this is how it's done on Chrome. I'm going to just download this certificate over here. Now we need to import it to the WS2 key store. So to do that, I'm just going to access my product pack on the terminal window. So now I'm inside the product pack. I'm going to go inside the repository resources security folder because that's where the key store is located and I'm going to run this command this command is going to import the certificate that I just downloaded as you can see this is the file path uh, it's going to upload it onto the key store so I'm just going to run it and it will prompt me for the key store password the default key store password is WSO2 carbon as you can see certificate was added to the key store so the next thing that we have to do is add Nexmo as a federated authenticator in WSO2 IS. So let's go ahead and access this management console. And I'm going to log in using the default admin admin credentials and add an identity provider called SMS OTP. Um, so to add a federated authenticator to this identity provider, I'm going to expand the federated authenticators tab expand SMS OTP configuration and enable it. Now I need to add the Nexmo URL as the SMS URL over here and the Nexmo API requires the parameters to be included in the URL. So I need the Nexmo API key and API secret to be included in the SMS URL. So let's construct the SMS URL with these parameters. To do that I need to first get the API key and the API secret from Nexmo. If you do not have an account already, you can simply sign up. It's completely free and very easy process. And as soon as you sign up, you'll be redirected to this page where you will see the key and the secret. So I'm just going to copy these two values and construct the Nexmo URL. This is the URL where I've included the API key value and the API secret value. If you need the format for the SMS URL, you can check it out in the documentation for 
detailed instructions. Now that I've added this, I'm just going to click register and my identity provider has been added. The next step is to configure the service provider. This means that I'm going to add a service provider in the WS2 management console um, and I'm going to call it pick up dispatch. This service provider represents this particular sample app that we're using. So I'm just going to click register and expand the claim configuration section. And I'm going to add WS2 claim mobile as the subject claim URI. And this is because we're using SMS OTP as one of our authentication methods. And now I'm going to expand inbound authentication configuration and configure SAML for this application. Um, so I'm just going to enter the issuer as SAML to robot pickup dispatch.com and enter my assertion consumer URL. Click add and register. So now I've configured SAML for this application. And then I'm going to expand local and outbound authentication configuration. Since we're using two factors of authentication, we will select advanced configuration and add two authentication steps, step one and step two. As the first step, we're going to select basic authentication under local authenticators and add it. And this will basically um, prompt the users for their username and password credentials. And as the second step of authentication, we are going to add SMS OTP under federated authentication. I'm going to click update. And now my service provider has been added. And that's all you need to do to set up multi-factor authentication with WSO2IS. So now MFA has been configured for this sample app. Let's actually try to add a user and see how it works. So I'm going to add a user called Alex next and I'm going to assign uh, the user to the application pickup dispatch role and now I'm going to add the mobile number for this user so that the SMS code will be texted to the user's mobile number so I will add 94 as the country code and I'm just going to enter my mobile number and click update um, so there are a couple of required fields that you need to fill when filling in a user profile so first name is required I'm just going to fill this in um, really quickly. Click update and the user profile has been updated. All right, so now let's try to actually log into the application with Alex's credentials. I'm first prompted to enter the username and password credentials as the first step of authentication. And then I'm prompted to enter an SMS OTP code that is texted to my mobile phone number. This is the number that I entered in the user profile earlier. So now I have received a code to my mobile number and I'm just going to enter that. And click authenticate. And as you can see, I'm logged into the application successfully. And that brings us to the end of the multi-factor authentication demo. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.